this evening new guidelines regarding breast cancer screenings. The United States Preventative Services Task Force now recommending women begin receiving mammograms by the time they hit 40. We spoke to a local breast cancer survivor and a breast surgeon about the change. I feel like my life was saved because I found it early. Joyce Williams, founder of the Savannah-based nonprofit Keepers of the Flame, is one of many women who was diagnosed with breast cancer. I was 36 when I was diagnosed. She says she found out she had a genetic mutation, putting her at higher risk for the disease. This allowed her to get screened at an earlier age. I'm a big fan for screenings. Because I started my screenings early, that is what helped me be able to find my cancer early enough. This week, the United States Preventative Services Task Force put out new guidance recommending the average woman start getting screened for breast cancer at the age of 40 rather than no later than 50 as they previously suggested. Ultimately, this can increase the number of people whose lives are saved. We spoke with a breast surgeon at Memorial Health Anderson Cancer Institute. He said catching cancer early can make a world of difference. If you take all breast cancers together, the earliest, earlier that it's found, the better the outcome, the less aggressive the treatment. But he points out the task force's new guidance suggests women get screened every other year up until age 74. He says at Memorial Health, they suggest yearly screenings starting at age 40. We're in the job of finding breast cancer and treating breast cancer in an early stage. So we're going to use all the modalities that we have available to us to do so. So that's why every year it seems to make the most sense. Dr. Burak wants to stress the task force's new guidelines are only intended for women at average risk. He says those at high risk are treated differently. This is also just one group's recommendations. There are others out there.